We do have some local developing news tonight. A beloved landmark on the Oregon coast has been vandalized. The Oregon State Police asking for your help to identify who damaged the Hasita Head Lighthouse. K2's Francis Lynn joins us now tonight with more on this. Fran? Deb, Oregon State Police says they are looking for these four people. They say broke windows and spray painted the lighthouse buildings and signs along the trail. OSP says this all happened this past Wednesday on June 14th. It's just a, 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 a tragedy that someone would vandalize these, these landmarks. The Hasita Head Lighthouse has been an iconic Oregon landmark since 1892. When people in Florence and now have some problem in the entire state of Oregon come here and the coast just gorgeous. Um, and this is one of the most photographed historical sites. In the 62 meter tall beacon was even added to the National Register of Historic Places back in 1978 for its architectural and engineering significance. But on the night of June 14th, Oregon State Police say one of the lighthouse buildings was damaged with spray paint and signs along the trail from the parking lot were also affected. The Hesita Head one is 129 years old. It's an Oregon treasure as these lighthouses are ended. To vandalize it just for vandalization purposes is, is just, you know, incomprehensible. OSP says surveillance video captured these four people approaching the lighthouse at 8.43 p.m. that night. At least one of them was carrying a can of spray paint. They also say video shows two of the alleged vandals breaking a window at the lighthouse building to get in. You can see that one of the panels had been busted out where they were trying to reach the lock that was there. Uh, to get into the building. State park officials say repairs could cost as much as $20,000. The windows and some of the framework that was down there, the painting on the outside of the building, it still has, you know, we tried to get as much of the paint off as we could. And it did, it, it, it helps to scrub down on it, but anytime you do that to a historical building, you do damage to it's kind of clean. Yeah, I hope they find the people who did it and they prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law. Again, these are the pictures of the four people Oregon State Police say they believe are responsible caught on surveillance camera. If you recognize anybody, call police. Francis Lane, K2 News. Okay, Fran, thank you.